हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर रूपाली वी गर्ल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एस वी आई टी वासद टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ग्रीन बिल्डिंग्स दैट इज द टॉपिक विच इज इंक्लूडेड इन जी टी यू सिलेबस ऑफ अ सब्जेक्ट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस हैविंग सब्जेक्ट कोड थ्री डबल वन ट्रिपल जीरो सेवन फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर फॉर दैट इज कॉमन फॉर ऑल ब्रांचेस नाउ वॉट इज द नीड ऑफ ग्रीन बिल्डिंग बिकॉज एनी बिल्ट एनवायरमेंट दैट इज हैविंग इम्पैक्ट ऑन एनवायरमेंट ऑल्सो सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द इम्पैक्ट दैट आर लिस्टेड हियर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ बिल्ट एनवायरमेंट दैट इज ऑल रिलेटेड टू साइटिंग वॉट इज साइट वॉट साइट वी आर सिलेक्टिंग इट्स डिजाइन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑपरेशन मेंटेनेंस रिनोवेशन डी कंस्ट्रक्शन सो ऑल दिज एक्टिविटी दैट विल अफेक्ट एनवायरमेंट एज फार एज कंजम्पन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी आर यूजिंग ऑल द एनर्जी रिसोर्स वॉटर मटेरियल नेचुरल रिसोर्स सो इफ प्रॉपर यूटिलाइजेशन इज नॉट डन दैन ऑल्सो इट विल अफेक्ट एनवायरमेंट दैन ऑल दिज एनवायरमेंटल इफेक्ट दैट आर प्रोड्यूसिंग वेस्ट रिजल्ट इन एयर पॉल्यूशन वाटर पॉल्यूशन इंडोर एयर पॉल्यूशन हीट आईलैंड इफेक्ट स्ट्रॉम वाटर रन ऑफ नॉइज पॉल्यूशन एक्सेट्रा एंड अल्टीमेट इफेक्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस बिल्ट एनवायरमेंट इट विल हार्म द ह्यूमन हेल्थ एज वेल एज इट विल रिजल्ट इन एनवायरमेंटल डिग्रेडेशन एंड लॉस ऑफ रिसोर्सेज सो एज लॉर्ड्स ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर दैट वी आर बिल्डिंग सो वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस बिल्ट एनवायरमेंट एज फार एज वी शुड ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द सोल्यूशन सो दैट मिनिमम इम्पैक्ट ऑन द एनवायरमेंट वुड टेक प्लेस थ्रू अवर बिल्डिंग्स सो दैट्स वाई द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ग्रीन बिल्डिंग हैज कम अप so looking to uh, the impact of uh, green uh, uh, our uh, construction on environment the green building movement it has originated in uh, originated initially in usa and with the desire for more energy efficient and environmental friendly construction practices so in early 90s this green building has attracted uh, worldwide attention and it has become the public concern about the impact of our construction industry on the human health energy use and global climate change and looking to this criteria of uh, sustainable building the us green building council that is called as the us gbc that was established in 1993 and uh, it has started promoting the sustainability in the building design construction and operation so uh, in the similar line in india also the green mo- building movement started and in india uh, the organization which is working for promoting the green building that is called indian green building council which is igbc which is a part of the cii and it was formed in the year 2001 so now we have to understand what is the meaning of green building so green, uh, this green building can be also called as a sustainable building or a high performance building so uh, it is the design and construction of building that have a minimum impact of environment so whatever action we are doing it is having minimum impact on environment it is the practice of creating structures and using such processes that are environmentally responsible and environmental friendly so this resource efficient throughout the building's life cycle so uh, in the building's life cycle many stages are involved so throughout all the life cycle it has to be uh, resource efficient as far as the siting to design design select uh, uh, site selection is concerned material selection for the construction operation maintenance renovation and deconstruction and this practices expands and com- uh, complement the classical building design concern of economy utility durability and comfort so these four basic need are to be satisfied at the same time when we are considering for environment so uh, by keeping all these criteria in mind the green building is to be constructed so in usa there is one agency which is called as us environmental protection agency so they have given the definition of uh, green building uh, as it is the practice of creating structure and using processes that are environmentally responsible and resource efficient throughout the building's life cycle from siting to design construction operation maintenance renovation and uh, deconstruction and this practice is expands and complements the classical building design concern of economy utility durability comfort green building is also known as sustainable or high performance building and already uh, we have uh, uh, learned about this uh, criteria in the earlier slide now we'll discuss about the objectives of green building so the major objective is to utilize efficiently all the resources that are energy resource water and other material resource next is use of renewable energy resource so instead of non renewable our focus should be on the renewable resource like wind energy solar energy like that conservation of water and reuse and recycling of water so that is sa- uh, saving of water that is the major criteria in uh, then interior lighting should be uh, should use the daylight and reduce the energy demand 
then it should protect the occupant so the health and the uh, uh, lifestyle of uh, people who are living uh, in the particular green building it should be improved and uh, uh, the productivity the employee productivity should increase by the construction of green building it should reduce waste pollution and environmental degradation use of advanced mechanical ventilation system to increase the air flow and to reduce the airborne diseases also to incorporate the sustainable material in the construction so all the the used and recyclable material that has to uh, that are to be used in the construction then healthy in indoor environment it is the prime requirement uh, of a green building uh, next last is landscaping that reduces the water uses uh, usage so these are the major objectives of green building so uh, just to summarize uh, main thing is that we have to use a renewable energy resource we should try to conserve water we should try to conserve energy resource uh, we should reduce uh, pollution and all the possible uh, natural resource that is uh, wind resource and uh, so, uh, solar energy uh, resource that are to be utilized in a maximum proportion and at the same time uh, the health of the persons living in the particular green building it should be protected from all the different pollutants so by keeping in mind uh, all the uh, objectives these are the fundamental principle and strategies for design of a green building so first thing that is sustainable site design next is energy efficiency third is water efficiency conservation and uh, maintenance of quality of water material efficiency or conservation of material and resource and last is indoor air quality so this five basic concept that are universal all over world as far as the design of green building is concerned so now we will discuss uh, each and every aspect in brief so first is sustainable site design this is most important criteria to uh, reduce the needless de uh, deconstruction of the valuable land habitat and green space so whatever green space nearby your site that you have to conserve to identify and protect the valuable green field development as a means to preserve the valuable green space uh, to preserve the key environmental assets through careful examination of each site so you have to carefully examine examine each and every site to evaluate the site in terms of location and orientation the orientation should be selected in a such a way that so we can maximum utilize the solar energy daylighting and natural breeze so that will reduce the cost of in terms of uh, uh, air condition and uh, uh, to provide the light throughout the day then natural shading in case of a summer season the arrangement uh, should be such that uh, uh, you are feeling cool in summer and uh, you are feeling warm in winter season paved areas to be replaced with the trees and other landscape uh, so that uh, maximum uh, ground water recharge may take place during rainy season engage in design and construction process that uh, minimize the site disturbance and in which it values and preserves the actual uh, restores or uh, regenerate valuable habitat green space etc and it is associated with the ecosystem that are vital for sustaining the life so this sustainable site design is major concern before starting green building project next criteria is related to minimization of energy that is energy efficiency so uh, it is it is having minimized adverse impact on the environment in terms of air water land and natural resource through our optimized uh, building siting optimized building design material selection and um, aggressive use of the energy conservation measures so here our major focus is renewable energy resource and other low impact energy resources now uh, passive solar orientation that is one of the example then proper design orientation shape design and interior colors that can also uh, help in reducing the energy requirement of building then exterior insulation that will keep your uh, house uh, uh, cool in case uh, in in summer season then efficient uh, use of bulb tube light uh, etc and the star rated products that can be useful then variable uh, speed drives uh, on fan and pump motor that can also reduce the energy requirement on site wind or uh, solar uh, based uh, energy generation that can also help in reducing the energy requirement of building so here in this figure uh, this uh, figure shows the orientation of a particular building so that may be useful in the site designing so here uh, the orientation of your uh, bedroom it should be done in a such a way that it will give a uh, cool breeze during evening season then winter sun summer sun uh, from which direction it is coming uh, it has to be decided uh, decided properly 
such kind of online wind and uh, solar based uh, energy generation plant so here this is uh, wind based this is solar based uh, generation small plants that can be useful now this is uh, uh, passive solar radiation the meaning is that here uh, this uh, ex extended portion it will uh, protect the uh, entry of uh, summer sun while at the same time it will allow the uh, winter sun to uh, take in, uh, entry inside your house so uh, and also this uh, particular uh, insulation is provided so uh, this way uh, by doing the small changes uh, you can uh, save the energy as well as by providing the proper orientation of building uh, you can get maximum advantage of all the uh, natural elements of wind su uh, sun etc next criteria that is related to conservation of water so here uh, it should be it should preserve the existing natural water cycle and uh, design site and building improvement should be such that uh, they are closely uh, emulate the site's natural uh, pre development hydrological system so whatever uh, storm water is there it should not run away but instead of that uh, we should try to retain that storm water on site infiltration and groundwater recharge facility can be provided so that can uh, restore your uh, groundwater uh, minimize the unnecessary and inefficient use of potable water so uh, by you, you reusing and recycling the water uh, we can uh, save the uh, proportion of fresh water which is available then harvesting of rain water storm water and grey water so these three techniques that is generally called as reuse and recycling so that can result in efficient use of water and that can save the quantity of potable water water meter if they are installed that will also minimize the use of uh, fresh water automatic switch system whenever uh, the over overhead tank uh, that is uh, uh, going to um, overflow then it will automatically shut down a efficient sanitary fixtures to minimize the water consumption that is also one of the measures that can be adopted this figure shows a few aspects that is rain water harvesting uh, the, from the roof whatever rain water is uh, coming that is to be collected and uh, that is uh, that can be utilized for the rain, uh, that can be collected and uh, after uh, collection that can be utilized for other purpose uh, also uh, this water efficient uh, toilet blocks that can be utilized uh, this uh, water which is coming from the kitchen sink etc bathroom which is uh, less uh, polluted that can be collected and uh, after giving some nominal treatment it can be reused and recycled now uh, this kind of efficient uh, sanitary fixtures that can be utilized so here in this figure you can see that here uh, uh, above this uh, toilet block uh, this wash basin is provided so whatever uh, water which is utilized for the flushing uh, it is not the potable water but it is uh, the reuse and recycled water so uh, a small flush and a large flush system that will be also implemented in toilet flushing system so that can also reduce uh, water requirement so here in this figure the rain har water harvesting system is uh, system is shown for the individual houses as well as from the apartment so all uh, this uh, here you can see that the special collection system from the terrace is uh, done and then uh, here in this uh, underground storage tank it is to be collected then after uh, filtration it is to be again lifted up and again it is uh, supplied to the recycle tank and uh, this recycled water that is stored that can be utilized for toilet flushing or other purpose now uh, this system is a grey water reuse now basically this grey water is water which is uh, generally less polluted which is coming from the dishwashing or from bathroom area or from the kitchen sink so it is comparatively uh, less polluted as compared to water which is coming from toilet block so that uh, grey water if we are collecting separately and pro by providing certain nominal treatment uh, you can utilize it for the gardening purpose so this is the example of grey water reuse and recycling aspect is materials and resource efficiency so here we should try to minimize the use of non renewable construction material and other resources and we should try to maximize the use of recycled content material modern resource efficient material whenever possible maximize the use of reusable renewable sustainably managed bio based materials to minimize the solid waste management 
also use of liash which are uh, uh, product from the uh, thermal power plant which is waste product from the thermal power plant can be used for making the brick cement and concrete use of silica fumes coconut husk rice husk bagasses marble dust waste glass so such a material that can be used for making the uh, green building and materials which can be used that uh, that are used to reduce the maintenance requirement it require less water energy and toxic chemicals and cleaners so here uh, some examples are given uh, the fly ash which is waste product from the thermal power plant can be that can be used for making green concrete then uh, this uh, red brick that is conventional brick works is this is fly ash brick so here uh, the use of fly ash that will uh, reduce the proportion of waste in in the environment for the management at the same time the reuse result in more efficient material so the such kind of uh, thing can be adopted at the site whenever we are using any material for the construction so last criteria is related to quality in, inside your house that is called as the indoor environmental quality so uh, it should provide a healthy comfortable and productive indoor uh, environment for building occupants as well as visitors so to do that uh, uh, the best possible conditions to be maintained are proper indoor air quality next is proper ventilation thermal comfort from temperature point of view access to the natural ventilation and day lighting as well as effective control of acoustical environment that is related to noise and use of high voc emission that are toxic uh, the, uh, which is coming from the paint it is to be avoided so as far as possible uh, the productivity of the persons living in um, uh, green building it should be increased by providing all these means so this figure shows the conceptual design of the green building so he, here photovoltaic generation and uh, rooftop plant planting is done also proper insulation is provided here this natural shading by use of the tree that will uh, restrict the sunlight during summer season also this uh, lighting control using the uh, natural light is provided then motion detection center uh, detection center uh, sensors that are used so that will automatically switch off high energy efficient light fixtures can be utilized then rain water harvesting system that can be adopted and high efficiency heating uh, equipment system so overall all the different means by which we can adopt to the green building criteria that are shown in this particular conceptual diagram after knowing all the principles uh, we must know that why we should go for green building so these are some of the benefits of green building from environmental point of view it protect the biodiversity and ecosystem uh, reuse of waste then uh, reduce the use of the natural resource then improve air quality water quality conserve the natural resources pollution prevention so basically you can say it's a eco friendly building and it is uh, helping in uh, protecting the environment from the social point of view it enhance the occupants comfort and health improve the aesthetic qualities then minimize the strain on local infrastructure because uh, more focuses on the uh, locally available material improve the overall quality of life and as far as economy is concerned so economic benefits reduce the operating cost energy savings would take place water saving would also take place up to 35% it will improve the occupants uh, productivity it optimize the life cycle economic perf uh, performance and create the market for the green product so uh, nowadays uh, this green products are uh, available and that can be utilized for the construction of green building so these are the major benefits of green building over a conventional building first is reduced water consumption so that will saves your money over the lifetime of the big green building also storm water recovery system that strategy help in water conservation next is increased resale value so green buildings have a higher resale value based on the reduced energy need and the lower overall operating cost so resale value of green building is generally found higher than conventional building reduced energy consumption so overall reduction of the energy consumptions that translate into money saving and it it means a significant reduction in the greenhouse gases and use of non renewable energy resource so overall you can say that uh, from environmental point of view from economic point of view it is having more advantage as compared to conventional building so now if you want to know that uh, whether your building is a green building or not or if you want to construct a green building so certain rating systems are available that will uh, evaluate the performance of a building and its impact on the environment and based on that the rating could be given so in india there are three rating systems which are widely used first is lead rating system 
lead is nothing but leadership in environment uh, energy and environmental design igbc that is indian green building council and third one is griha that is green rating for integrated habitat assessment so now we'll see uh, first one that is the lead rating system so usgbc that has introduced the lead uh, green building rating system and in line to that uh, in india uh, lead rating systems are established and they have developed the national standard for developing the high performance sustainable building so this uh, lead is a voluntarily uh, a voluntary uh, organization and uh, uh, they are uh, providing uh, the system based on existing proven technology and evaluates the environmental performance from a whole building perspective and lead is a self certifying system designed for rating new and existing commercial institution and multi uh, family residential building so uh, this prerequisites and credits uh, are given in five categories similar to whatever principles we have discussed sustainable site planning improving uh, energy efficiency conserving materials and resource uh, embracing the indoor air quality and safeguarding water so building uh, is generally awarded uh, uh, four uh, types of rating that is certified building silver rating gold and platinum so here uh, this uh, four levels of certification exist under lead so that that depends upon the marks that are obtained that is lead certified uh, you have to obtain this point that is 26 to 32 33 to 38 is it, it is lead silver building 39 to 51 it is called gold rated uh, lead building 52 to 69 that is called as platinum building so this is the point distribution indoor air quality 23% marks are allotted sustainable site design 22% water efficiency 8% energy and atmosphere that is 27% material and resource uh, uh, efficiency 20% points are allotted so here all these uh, points that are to be scored that are uh, uh, under each category are given sustainable site maximum 13 points can be stored uh, water efficiency that is 6 point maximum energy and atmosphere that is 17 materials and resource 13 indoor air quality that is 15 and bonus credit for process and design innovation if they are in adopted then maximum 5 marks can be adopted so here this figure it is the uh, harness uh, tower of new york completed a uh, 46 story first lead uh, gold building in uh, new york that is having motion sensors light sensors rain water harvesting system and low voc paints next uh, rating system is igbc rating system so it is a national non profit organization it is a member of world green building council this igbc green home is the first rating uh, program developed in india exclusively for the residential sector so it is the developer and ad administrator of uh, lead green building rating system in india so what was the objective of igbc that is development of new building rating system to facilitate a, hol a, a holistic approach to create the environmental friendly and environmental uh, uh, sustainable building through uh, site and architectural design water efficiency effective handling of waste energy efficiency occupants comfort and well being and innovation so here uh, you can see more or less the criteria remain same that is in line with the basic design principles of green building so here these are the criteria for the certification by igbc so basically this uh, certifications are also in the range of certified silver gold and platinum so owner occupied building uh, these are the uh, ranges given 42 to 49 50 to 59 60 to 74 75 to 100 so its recognition is best practices outstanding performance national excellence and global leadership so here also it depends upon the point system but this points are different one here now the next system it is griha rating system so it is developed by terry that is tata energy and resource institute and it is built in cooperation with the ministry of new and renewable energy resource so here it is a very detailed kind of rating system that includes 34 criteria with many sections involved in that the major sections involved are site planning energy and occupant comfort then water saving waste management sustainable building material social aspects are also considered here uh, whether uh, your building that is going to affect a nearby a, a, a socially or not then bonus point that is some innovations are given 
uh, then it has to uh, provide with the bonus point then point system is generally assigning the star rating not the points but it's a star rating so here you can see if it is one star building it is 25 to 40 points 41 to 55 then it is uh, double star then 56 to 70 it is three star four star building it is 71 to 85 86 and more then it is a five star building so here uh, the bifurcation of each criteria in terms of percentage are given for all the seven different sections 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so all that we have discussed so in india after uh, development of uh, uh, IGBC, there is a continuous growth of uh, green building construction is observed. You can see in this graph. So this is up to uh, 2013. So uh, more and more numbers of registered as well as certified and uh, pre-certified uh, uh, buildings that are shown in this particular figure. So it is go on, uh, going on increasing. So here uh, we will discuss about top 10 green buildings in India. So first is ITC Green Center, Gurgaon. Next is uh, Patani I Get Knowledge Center, Noida. Here it is Olympia Tech Park of Chennai. This is Infinity Benchmark Building of Kolkata. Then Crisil House, Mumbai. Then in, uh, Indira Paryavaran Bhavan. Then Infosys Building of Hyderabad. Cisco Building of Bangalore. Then Suzlon 1 Earth Pune, then ITC Moria Hotel of New Delhi, uh, then in Baroda we are having uh, international airport that is also a uh, green building. Now uh, this is as per our uh, newspaper, India will have 1 lakh green buildings by 2025. So uh, this green building scenario that is improving in India and by 2025 we, uh, we are hoping that uh, we may reach up to 1 lakh green building and uh, we will uh, try to um, protect the environment by construction of this green building and reducing the impact of uh, built environment on environment so thank you very very much don't think more just go green and try to conserve the whatever resource we are having so thank you very much all of you